Hello everyone, Brit wants a new hairstyle and she wants to look like... Miley Cyrus. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm so glad I don't have to pronounce that name. <laughs> Will you turn for you and the rest of the world and show what your hairstyle is now? And then we're first going to wash it out because there's a lot of gel in it. <laughs> yeah, wash their hair. Uh, just rinse it out with a little bit shampoo. And put in a little bit conditioner because that helps with cutting the hair and to decide whether the ends are very bad or not. Her sides will be darker, she has an outro but that will be blonde. So she has a, a chocolate color on the sides and blonde on top and it will be standing out like it should be. Okay, the sides she will be having ultra short. So there I start with clipper of a comb. And work my lines up from nothing till something. Use my clipper as a comb again, putting your knife in a distance of two millimeters. Create a nice soft flow on the front. What I would like you to do is to send me uh, questions you want to know and in the next uh, video I will answer them because I don't have time to answer all the questions but the questions that are important for me as a hairdresser and to address to you I will uh, tell you what I think about it and even when you want to know something about the materials or the tools I'm working with, I will explain it in the next video. So send me your questions and we'll give some highlights on the questions you sent me. Ik vind het wel leuk, ze heel dik bij filmen, dat vind ik het mooi. Ik heb vooral zien hoe snel het gaat. Ja. I can use my clipper as a comb. Work against the hair flow. Always work in the opposite direction because then the hairs will get the same length and you get a better result afterwards because With a small clipper I clean the contour, take away the little hairs. Okay, 
what I do is I made a, a bleach, uh, a simple bleach. I made it with 6%, so not too high. 6% uh, is 20 volume. And I start the outgrow in the middle and work all my parts from the side to the middle. This way I can leave the sides free of uh, bleach. Can cover it up and make the sides darker. I leave out the ends because they are already bl blunt, platinum blunt, and I won't, don't want too much damage on the ends. So now I create a straight line. And because it has to look a little bit like an outgrow, I leave the sides where the length is a little bit longer, I leave it that way, and that I call it dark because then I have a soft line to the upper hair, and otherwise I get a straight hard line and I don't want that in this uh, haircut. Because I don't have an outgrow and she, uh, the model she wants, what's her name of the girl? Miley Cyrus. Okay, <laughs> she has an outgrow and Brit don't have an outgrow, so I create a little bit of outgrow by leaving. Start again in the center line of the skull and work my way to the other side and do then the same where the dark hair starts. I always put a deep conditioner into the bleach because I find it very important to create the best result and to leave the best hair I can have because I want to yeah, get a lifetime with my models and I want them to love me because they have good hair and not bad hair. Take a new foil, put it on the bridge, shape it a bit so the back has the curve I want. The color I use on the sides is a 4036. Um, it's a lot of 40 and a little bit blonde and a little bit uh, red, but it gives at the end result a tobacco color and it's from Affinage and Affinage comes from Italy. And then I do it uh, 6%. It's 20 volume, pushing the hair down, that way I can stay away from the bleached part. And I can do it in one time, so I don't have to do it two times. I love to work fast, on models and on customers, because that way I can um, take a lower price and have more customers at the same time. So. My income is almost the same. I have to work a little bit harder, but I love to work hard. And trust me, I always work hard. Now I take my carton wig, I lay on the line between the bleach and the collar a carton wig to prevent from putting the colors into each other. Cover it up in plastic foil and in a half hour, we will be back. We'll be back. Brett will also be back. Why not? Back. And the color is on. It takes two to about a half hour without heat. Now I just cut off the ends of the one parts, the dry ends, to create a new stable line, because the upper hair is, uh, it has to be stable, it's a really strong hairstyle. I see how wonderful brown tones are. Again, it's from Affinage, it's a 4036. The upper hair was bleached with a civil blonde 
blue bleach and 6% Put on a silver toner and leave it there for about five minutes and rinse it out. Now I lay the hair to the side to see if the line I have just cut is a strong line. And you see that the length in the front is more than on the back, and the back I connect just to the parts I have and try to get create a soft line because it has to look like an outgrow and that it does because there's no strong line same I do on, on the other side but turning the model around no that's not the way to do it <laughs> control the ends and connect the back Create a line like the chin line in the same position, and the same on the other side. So I'm sure that all the thin air the ends are off. I have stable hair and I'm going to blow dry it. I have a little bit of cold, so my voice is a little bit different than normally. The product I'm going to use is a uh, silver mist. That I use to blow dry the hair and to give it more platinum effect. It's from for a reason, and it's a wonderful product to work with. It smells nice, works nice, and it's uh, much more safe than uh, silver uh, shampoo because now I can control the, the, the cold tones of the hair. Blow dry from the middle. So the center line of the skull, lifting the hair up, twisting the brush around, and then lift the hair up. And in my mind I always have the music of rock and roll when I do hairstyles like this. And most time I, I think about music like tan dan 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 it's in my mind it works better. It's not so boring to make uh, a high style like this because the music to, to do it on is very important to create a correct a character on the, the hairstyle. And I love to work with music in my mind. How the silver mist affects the, the color of the blonde. By working the dark hairs up to the upper hair, you get the softness of an outgrow effect without even having an outgrow. And then I do afterwards with a little bit gel, I play the hair into the upper hair to create more softness. This is a wonderful product of uh, for reasons. It's, it smells like uh, uh, yeah, like fruit. And it's wonderful to work with, and it combinated with a new oil they have on the market, and it's a wonderful oil. So both I put it in my hand, so I get a little bit glow and a little, little bit of uh, shapey uh, power. So I use not that much.
push the sides up to the longer part to create again the outgrow effect. Hairspray is um, super shape, also for four reasons. It's also a wonderful product. It smells nice, works fast, dries hard. Now she will go out into our city, it's Nijmegen, and we have four days walk and the biggest offense in the open air free to do. So we call it the Vierdaagse and she's ready for it. So beware when she is there. Now I show Brit <laughs> and her new hairstyle. Brit, you may turn for you and the rest of the world. I show the hairstyle we wanted. <laughs> and what was the girl's name again? Miley Cyrus. Okay, <laughs> you feel rewarded with this hairstyle? You feel good? Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Ja, graag gedaan.